What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about scanning a driver license using uh, Zebra Scanner. As long as it's a 2D scanner, it should work. Um, this is really good. I like the Zebra because um, it's good on reading the VIN number on the car. I mean, this one, it can, this one, I don't know what's, what's the name of it. It's um, uh, Nudum. Yeah, um, it's a 2D one too, but the problem with it, when you try to read the VIN number on the, on the car, it kind of struggles. Where this one, because the, the whatever, the infrared that it's throwing at, it's very strong. This one, it's not. Um, and we have the, the last one, which is, it's good. This one is good on papers, and um, that's about it. It's not good on cars too. So this is the, this is the best that works on cars but i'm here to talk about uh, scanning driver license which is that's most, the most important thing um it's my driver license um check it out it's it's like magic man i'm gonna use the the white one look at this this is just like a brilliant you're ready to go just type in we made it a little bit faster it was lacking a little bit just it used to say please wait for a long time it doesn't anymore let's try it again and I just scan drive license. Crazy, huh? And this one, okay, so this one is faster than the Zebra, uh, but uh, it doesn't work. So we need a scanner that works primarily to scan the VIN number and to scan the driver license, uh, but uh, the Zebra is the best of all the way around. And this is the Zebra one, let me just show the Zebra one. Zebra one right away catch it by the way. So if I want to scan, right away it scans. But if you look, there's some delays to it, so it's not as fast as the other one. Yeah, so you gotta have to live with that. But when it comes to VIN number, there's no delay because it's only scanning uh, one thing. Um, I want to show you the driver license. What you need to scan. This is from uh, this is from. Um, michigan.gov so there's each usually each driver license has two barcodes uh the small the the barcode up top it's only the driver license number the barcode at the bottom uh, it should have the uh, the name and the address so that's why that's what this is 1d barcode and this is 2d barcode the 2d barcode it's multiple lines so when, when you scan it it's going to scan the, uh, the vin the name uh, the address and the date of birth, but we don't need date of birth here, So, but it does scan all these together. So this is what you need to scan. Uh, usually you gotta cover, like make sure you cover this with your hand when you hold the driver license like this. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta cover the, this part, the uh, top part with your hand and scan this part. And you gotta have 2D uh, barcode scanners. You gotta make sure your, your barcode scanner is 2D, but uh, it's like a magic if you don't like to, uh, if you don't like typing and especially typing the address and getting it correct. I mean, this one is going to give you the correct address uh, every time. So it's just beautiful. There's nothing to it. It's just beautiful. Um, uh, Chop Monkey doesn't have that. We do. So we can scan driver license. We can scan the VIN number on the car. Um, the only one I'm right, I don't know, so the, what I'm using here is a Zebra, it's an old Zebra, so it's not like a new one. Uh, I don't know if the new Zebra is faster, I'm sure it is, but the problem with Zebra, they're expensive. Um, let me see, under product, if you go under product right here, and so we have, it says the Zebra, Motorola, the used one. So I usually I tell people go ahead and buy the used one because it's only $85. But, and it's 2D right there, 2D wireless Bluetooth. But I wonder, let's look at the new one. Actually, let's go on Amazon.com and see what kind of Zebra scanner they have. Scanner. So yeah, so I mean, it's called Symbol Zebra. Two hundred nineteen. It's made by Motorola, so I, I can't really find it. Let me see my parts, um, products. The new one right here. Where does it take you? Yeah, so this is the new one. It's two hundred fifty nine dollars. 
But is it exactly like this one? I have no idea. So let me see. Does it give you any? Let's see if it's the first, the same part number. So we'll add DS6878, where, let me put this aside. Yeah, so it's exactly the same. So yeah, I don't unless they, I'm sure they have a new version of this, uh, of the symbol uh, zebra. It's made by Motorola. So uh, I, again, again, it it works. Okay, so why why this better than this and better than this? Sadly, those two, uh, the transmission transmission data of those two are faster than this. But the problem with these, when you try to scan something shiny, it will not scan. And uh, all the VIN number on the car, whether in the windshield or or on the side, it's it, it's like it's just like the driver license. It it's a little bit. It's actually more shinier than driver license, so it's gonna have problem uh, scanning. So that's a problem with those two. I tried those two. They work. I'm saying you you gotta sit and and point at it and go back and forth and to make it happen. Where this one, because the infrared that shoots is so strong. Look at that. Um, it scans it, it immediately and but the only problem like I said if you look if you go on new customer I'm going to scan the driver license with this one uh, remember with the VIN number now and there's no problem at all because it's just one line but with this one uh, it's not dumping the data all at once it's kind of dumping it slowly um, it takes like three seconds more where the white one, this one, actually this one is the fastest. This one just dump it just once, well, dump the data just once and, and it's simple. But the second fastest is this one, the white one. But you see, look, I gotta scan it, I gotta point it, I gotta like have, it's it, it's not as, uh, it's not as, about, again, look how fast is it. Transmission of data is super fast. So I don't understand how in the world the best uh, scanner in the world is not as fast as this one or the other one so uh, unless this is an old version and i'm sure uh, symbol or or motorola have corrected that a long time ago i know fedex use that uses the symbol but it's, they don't use this one they use like a more advanced one and they you do like when you go to fedex they will scan your driver license so which is kind of cool um, yeah, every time I go to FedEx to ship something, um, they, they take my driver license and VIP. And that's why actually I saw it the first time. I was like, man, if, uh, if FedEx can do it, I should be able to do it. Um, if the driver license doesn't work, um, uh, just uh, let me know and we'll take care of it. So um, let's do that one more time. Decoding. Again, I mean, it's only like what? I think it takes five seconds on this one. And uh, let's try this one. But this one takes two seconds to catch it. Oh, I put it, yeah, make sure you don't put, uh, you you get a point, when you scan driver license, you gotta put the pointer up top. Don't put it right here, you gotta put the pointer up top, so. Um, yeah, that's like two seconds. So that's like three seconds difference. Anyway, um, Shop Monkey doesn't have that. We know that. Um, I don't think anyone has that. I was the first one. It's the kind of cool because like I can do this kind of stuff. Um, they can't. They get to sit together and figure it out. <laughs> by the time I've always said, by the time they sit together and figure it out, I've already done it. So, anyway, uh, appreciate you guys. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching.